Volkin was not online. I'm pretty sure he's never online. Should have Vol. No, it's not. It feels bad. Okay. Um, yeah, you guys can hear me, right? Yes, 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 yes. I'm gonna close here everything like that. I'm gonna go back here as well. Do a thing live in the chat. There we go. Hello, hello everyone, hello everyone. The thing is here. Uh... For people wondering, you said like, man, you really gotta go check out the after party. What is up? What is up? Like, I will tell you guys something, right? Like, I'm being really nice to my community. And um, I'm working on a mobile game, you know that. You might say, like, I don't give a shit. Even if you become a billionaire, I don't give a shit. But what if you can, you know, if you can basically piggyback on my success? What if I can carry you in life? You might say, like, how, how do you do that? Well, it's called getting yourself some sweet-ass purpose. That's what it's called. Here's the link. Uh, purpose for the people wondering is... a. Uh, crypto coin that is fully integrated in the game but not only that it works also with the nfts for people who don't know the entire nft uh hype we i'm gonna gamify all the nfts in our game through you know exporting heroes and skins to the blockchain from streamers they can literally monetize it do whatever the fuck it's a big fucking deal and uh for people wondering like okay but hey i don't know purpose has been around for a long time went from half a dollar's to right now 3.13 dollars and it's basically a stable coin that can goes up that only goes up in a sense it's not truly truly that but in a sense it's basically like that it just keeps going up it keeps pumping someone can post the graph so people can check it out and see uh how it evolves and it has a very smart system with a locking mechanic and um and that's basically it how is it not truly truly like that because the reason why it's not fully a stable coin is because the purpose itself, if you want to sell it, you need to undercut the supply wall. Um, and the, 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 sta the stability is basically about the dividend, which is doobie that keeps going up. So it's basically a, a stable coin for the dividend. But because the dividend keeps going up in value, what you what you need to get the dividend also keeps going up so you can also check uh, the roadmap for people interested here's the link i don't know if that works does the roadmap even work so yeah there's the link it should work roadmap Yeah, Duby and Purpose keep going up, both of them. But Noxy for Charity, you've been watching the stream for a long time and also after parties. You know how it works, right? But why, why is the roadmap not working, though? I, I tapped in exclamation mark roadmap. No, Duby and Purpose both go up. Every time there's a ding, Purpose and Duby goes up. Every time Purpose dings, Duby dings as well. They both ding together. So Duby initially was half a dollar, now it's $3.13. Is Duby getting more value than purpose? They both ding at the same speed. How are the values connected? I don't understand. Every time the supply wall is, is emptied, a new supply wall is provided and they go up by 0.6%. To be buy wall and uh, purpose supply wall. So yeah. So get that sweet sweet ass purpose. Buy wall and supply wall both goes up. Yeah. Most bugs are actually getting fixed. Yeah. Let me see how many cards are left. Quickly here, I can actually check how many cards are left. 600 cards and uh, it's still 600. And uh, the QA cards are going uh, down quite a bit. It's actually going quite, it's going down fast. It's 1.4K QA cards and it was at 2.1 like a few, four days ago. Yeah, thanks and I will for sure make some investment now for part of my portfolio. That's... 
that's strange, but hey, whatever, uh, you do whatever, man. Bitcoin also went down like crazy, by the way. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, yeah, for people that are in crypto, holy shit, it went down like crazy. Yeah, just get yourself, now it's the time to get yourself purpose before it crashes even more. Same with Ethereum. Ethereum, did you guys see the flash crash? The flash crash of Ethereum. Oh shit. Ethereum is at 1,500 bucks. It was at 2K. Come on. Don't miss out. That's all I can say. Or are you going to cry? I think uh, shit is, by the way, going to go down even more. Just so you know, like Bitcoin and Ethereum is going to go down, is going to go down even more. Right now, it's the people thinking buy the dip, buy the dip. And then it's just going to be back down the fucking hill and people are going to cry. So, yeah. Just want to say that. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, ask them now. Per the game is coming out soon as well. It's actually, yeah, it's coming really close. I like it. Yeah, March, March, yeah, March. Yeah, 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 March, March. I mean, the question is when in March, it's gonna be, the first half of March. Yeah. Well, we're going to have like the translation company is done the 5th of March. And that's when we will put all the translation into the game and do a, the final beta. And then after that, we launch. Well, it's let me tell you something. People are losing patience in, internally here as well. What price do you think purpose will reach this year? I don't know, 2200 bucks or something. So do you think more people will buy? I think the crypto whales will buy from gaming for good and uh, people that buy small will buy from within the game. You should release at 1st April as a meme. Imagine we do that. Has anyone rage quit yet from the constant pushbacks? We've had people leave throughout the time, but nobody rage quit it now. I would buy more purpose, but Coinbase doesn't allow me to buy Ether right now. Why not? Because you need to be verified, I guess. I would get more purpose if the gas prices weren't so high. Well, you got to get a lot of purpose. You got to get yourself a lot of purpose. Will Purpose ever get an auto relock first feature? Uh, well, it already has. You can basically choose to permanently lock your purpose forever. And you can then just mint the doobie whenever you want. And uh, we will in the future have an, not an auto relock, but an auto unlock. So it's going to take a while though. 
because I'm like, like when it comes down to Ether, we had really big plans, just so you guys know. But since the gas prices are so high, we're going to have to start thinking in alternatives because it's just unfeasible. Why auto unlock? Because now when, when, the, when the duration is over, right, you have to unlock your purpose and then relock again. That's how it works. So if you don't unlock your purpose, it's basically, you know, like, well, yeah. Well, it's the same thing. It's just it gets unlocked automatically and you see it on your wallet. But yeah. Oh. So I should relock it because I didn't relock it. So all that time I don't generate Dubi. You generate Dubi only when you lock and you immediately get it. And after the time has passed, you need to unlock it and relock it. That's how it works. But actually what would be nice is once you lock it after a year, you get 4% immediately. And then after a year, you can just start minting it. No, no, you can't do that. You need to lock for a certain amount of time. We need to do that. We need to do that because else, yeah, when there is a burst or whatever, everybody can immediately unlock their purpose. Yeah, no. Yeah. The permanent lock is just a feature of the token, but it's invisible because we, we use permanent lock for the programs we will do. Universal basic income programs, that's where we need the, the permanent lock feature, but you, you really need to talk to the contract to, to actually do it. We don't provide a UI. To lock, we do have a UI. There's literally a UI where you can hodl your purpose. It's on DubiExa. When you check it, you can there see how to lock and unlock on the top bar. Will you add the source code to editor scan so we can do permanent lock? New purpose fork doesn't have source code. Uh, no, all all the all the all the purpose all the contracts have the code on the blockchain. But the thing is, though, if you permanent, I, I why would you want to permanent lock your purpose? Because if you permanently lock, right, the way it works is as follows: you get four percent immediately, right, and from then on, whenever you want, you can basically mint Duby from your purpose. So after two years, you can just immediately mint 8%. That's how it works. You get me? Or not? So you get 4% and then after a year, you can mint another 4 or you can mint after a month, 1%. It's you can mint whenever. Well, no, you get 4% instantly. But like, the, like after half a year, you can mint again for 2%. Like basically at that point, it becomes like a, a, a doobie mine and you, you immediately get 4% and from then on, you can keep minting the time that passes. That's how it works. So after one year, you, you're basically always like a bit ahead. But after one year, well, after one, let's say someone locks 4% for a year or permanently unlocks. Like if you lock for one year, then you get 4% and then after a year, you can lock again for a year and you get another 4%. If you permanently uh, lock, then you can instantly get 4%. After a year, you can also mint and you can also get 4%. So it's the same system. It's the same amount, except you don't have to lock, relock all the time. You can always just get your doobie forever, basically. Well, you can, you can basically mint whenever you want. You can also do it after a few months or whatever. When it's permanently unlocked, uh, permanently locked, you can just mint whatever doobies on the contract and it keeps generating. Yeah, you will never be able to sell your purpose that is permanently locked. No. Although, 
when it's permanently locked no i i don't i don't even know if it works it might be that you can burn it you can burn it and and still buy stuff on gaming for good i think that still works you can burn it yeah the only reason why you would permanently lock is if you don't want to buy the fees pay for the fees to relock and also, the reason why we have it is for programs. If we go to villages and we give poor people permanently locked purpose, they basically have universal basic income. You get me? Or not? There's a gas fee. You need to pay gas if you lock. That's just how it works. All Ether works like that. Depending on the transaction fee, it's higher or lower. So I can get 4% lock it forever and spend it on G4G. Well, just a, a gamer, it doesn't matter. Like there is no exploit. Like let's say you have unlocked purpose, right? And you spend unlocked purpose on Dubi, uh, on gaming for good. You will get Dubi in return and it will burn it. You get me? Because it will basically first lock the purpose amount and then give you the Dubi for that and then burn it. You get me? So there is no advantage to uh like you basically and and let's say you 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 locked purpose and you're half a year in and you then buy that purpose you will get half a year it's like as if you lock it for one year i don't know if you guys get me so if you're already half a year in and you lock and you buy on gaming for good it will just add half a year i don't know if i explained it well but i mean the math adds up The only way I can get purpose for free is to live somewhere in Uganda and get it as UBI. Uh, you can also play the game and be smart about it. Export your progress, sell your NFTs for a Dubi. GG. NFC is non fungal what is it? NFC, NFS, NF, and NFTs, NFTs. Non fungible tokens. NFTs. So can you explain the NFT stuff? NFT is blowing up right now. A lot of big, you know, like Logan, Logan Paul came with his own NFTs. Basically NFTs, what it is, is it's like you have like a art, a screenshot, a GIF or whatever. And you basically have a, have a signed um, a token that proves you own this art. And now there's this entire snowball and it's going to get bigger and bigger. And once the game comes out, it's probably going to be at its all time, but it's a big bubble, but Hey, whatever. Where people say it's like owning art, like owning Mona Lisa. You're really the, the sole owner of this art. But the thing is though, everybody can watch it. I mean, it, it means not so much while in the game, the NFTs in our game, they actually have more value because you can trade them. You can play with them, with the heroes in the game and stuff. Does Leo and him have purpose? I don't think so. Yeah, it's basically buying and selling assets through crypto. And the assets can also be digital. I don't think there is any physical asset. That's not there yet, right? No. No. It's all digital. So our mate chance become NFTs and we can sell them and people who buy it can play with it. Well, you know how it works, right, Betkiss? You can export heroes in the game and you can sell them. Yeah. Before I just called them crypto heroes, but now it's NFTs. NFTs is the, is the word for it. How's the charity part right now? Not so much. 
mean, right now we're just focusing on the game and waiting for Corona to pass because Corona really limits everything. Also, people can come over. If you want to come over and change the world, we had a few more applications as well. Two from Germany. It's really nice. I, I, I love it when people from Germany apply. Because it's not that far and uh, there is no restrictions, at least. Yeah. But yeah. It's nice. Chill, chill, gajil, chill, gajil. Also, we're going to ding again. We're going to ding soon again. How do you get a visa? All right, right now it's really hard to come over even for three months if you need a visa. But if you have a European passport, if one of your parents, you can you can ask for a passport. Yeah, 8K and we ding again. Holy shit, that's crazy. We've been dinging so much. It's actually quite crazy. <laughs> What about increasing the permanently locked purpose to be rewarded by 0.2%? Nah, it's not a good idea. The permanently locked purpose is only for, uh, the only reason why we have it is for uh, our projects, but people can still use it, of course, but it's for our projects. For our Doobie projects. Where can we see the NFTs for sale? Do you have a place or a website where we can see Browse Heroes? In the game, there is a, there is a, there is a, auction house and dubx will also have it by the way you will be able to browse them on dubx and also in the auction house maybe on launch not on dubx but in the game you can it's the crypto building you can try out the beta here's the link so yeah bet kiss let me see here I just wonder, like, I'm just a bit surprised by the question. Isn't Bitkiss someone that, is it the, isn't, I played an applied man. Can you, can you, can you say in the Twitch chat, can you confirm that it's you? Because I wouldn't be surprised, you know, these haters are trying to start, you know, uh, because they already tried to impersonate people we know by checking Instagram and all that shit. I think they're now trying to impersonate people that are in the Twitch chat and are actually... I think Jinx was an impersonator, yeah. So Betkis, can you, can you confirm your identity on the Twitch chat? Just say hi in the Twitch chat. Cause it's just, it's, it's fucking weird. Yeah, no, it's not him, but yeah. Yeah. Well, bet kiss, you gotta watch Dominion and then reapply. People that eat meat, it's almost always insta reject because nobody stays here that eats meat. No one. So, yeah. You just got to reflect on, uh, on, on your eating habits. Nobody's eating meat here. There's actually one person that eats meat. It's a girl. I don't tell people here to watch Dominion, man. It's not some fucking concentration camp. But yeah. I, I don't understand how people can eat meat after watching Dominion, though. It's a bit scary. But yeah, it is what it is. 
there is a new beta coming. Yeah. I think the new beta is going to be five, between five and seven March. There will be the new beta. Well, the, the final beta. It's going to be the final beta, actually. Radiant. So why don't you apply, Mr. Radiant? Change the world. I chopped the chicken's head once. Wasn't fun at all. Man, I wouldn't be able to. That would be so traumatizing for me to do that. Fucking hell, it would be really traumatizing. No. Man, Dominion is so fucking. Yeah, it's so. Yeah, it's it's so. It's tr it's it's almost traumatizing to see that shit. Well, if you already don't eat meat, you don't have to watch it. But if you do eat meat, I think you owe it to you know. <laughs> to know what happens you owe it like for real it's it's a small uh, yeah you 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 want to see it on on the on youtube but man i'm telling you uh, like you have the isis videos this dominion documentary on certain levels it's worse i'm just saying it's going to be it's going to make you feel sick yeah? Yeah. I see radiant, that's fine. Omega three, you can get omega three from a vegan pills, actually. Oh, there's the doku. Yeah. I don't even take flax seeds anymore. The problem with flax seeds, right, is that uh, it gets bad very fast. Flaxseed oil, holy shit. You open it, after a day, you can throw it away. But omega-3 pills are really nice. Yeah. I used to drink so much. I used to take so much flaxseed oil back in the days when there was no vegetarian or vegan solution for omega-3. I used to really take a lot of flaxseed, but I changed after the pills came out. I think they do actually. I think they do. I have bottles in my room. I know it's really high quality, good shit. Yeah.
I wonder how it's going to pan out. Because once the game is out, oh my god, man, things are going to go crazy so fast. Is there anyone here actually considering applying, by the way? Or not so much? One's purpose is on the dolls. Why not before? Be part of the team, work together to, to get it there. Yeah, man, like I know rapeseed oil is really good, but it sounds so fucking wrong. Need to work to pay stuff, but the thing is, though, everything here is free. Just wondering, do the faces and heroes turn into F F NFTs? Yes, they do. That's literally what we have. The faces and heroes turn into NFTs. Which is fucking crazy when you think about it. And we will be NFTs on steroids, because huh? this NFT is quite a big bubble. So if I post my face, do, I, do you own my face or some Facebook legal fuckery? No, 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 no. The, the way it works is, Betkiss is, when someone uses your face in the game, right, they don't own your face. They don't own the rights on your face. They, they do just own the hero. And the hero has your face on it. That's how it works. So basically, imagine, uh, I'm going to give you an example, right? If Blizzard would introduce NFTs, right? Then you would be able to export your fully geared 227, you know, Druid. You wouldn't own the rights to the, to the, to the art, but you would own the hero. And you would be able to sell the hero to anyone you want. And that on itself is an NFT. An NFT is you you own just the digital, you know, and it's it, it's it's not printable, it's unique. And since there is also a season system connected to it, you can have your own season one soda poppin uh mage and uh and 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 you might have the only one in that month, in that season, the only one that ever exists, and there is nobody that will ever be able to get another one of these. You get me? That's how it works. So like what's going to happen is if the game starts blowing up and gets bigger and bigger popularity, as time passes and we add more patches and make the game more and more mainstream, people will go back to the initial seasons, like season ones, and will want to get these heroes. Because like a season one like streamer skin will be just worth more because of ancianity. It's like the Pokemon cards. Why are they worth a lot? It's because of ancianity. How many... Can you make of this? You can make an indefinitely amount of NFTs if you if you have infinite Krypton, but you need to get the Krypton. And it's also very expensive initially because if you if your progress is small, then you won't get a lot of uh, reduction on the export costs. The export costs go down. So will season one already start in March? Well, that's. The reason why we, we don't want to launch in February is because then there's only a few days for season one. So yeah, like season one will, will start in March. Yes, we might start season. Yeah, season one will start in March. And it will maybe be a little bit smaller season. We will see. Or it might start in April. We will see. We might start the, the season one in, in April, but I don't know. Yeah, we, we could end it in like in, in April, but it's all a custom code. I don't know, like it has to get QA'd and everything. I, I don't want bugs. That's the problem. 
But yeah, maybe it's just a short season. Huh? Maybe season one is just a short season. Yeah. I know it's a bit uh, shit, but yeah. Yeah, all the seasons are just the same month. It's like you have a season one is January, season two, February, and all that shit. April 1st is the best launch date. You think so? I think people would just think it's a joke. Yeah, they will just think it's a joke. They won't even take it serious. Best launch date is Christmas 2019. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on a time machine so we can go back. But yeah. But the game is really good though. The game is, by the way, we fixed the lag bug. <laughs> the, the lag that you guys have in the game is fully fixed. It's not just in the start, it happens. It's not heating, it wasn't heating. There was like a loop that was constantly spam connecting 60 times a second in certain situations. And that's what was causing the lag. And that's why restarting fixed the lag, even though your phone was hot. It had nothing to do with heating, had nothing to do with all that shit. The pop-ups, you can only have one pop-up every 10 minutes. Will the heating be fixed? The heating is already pretty much fixed though. It's already, our game doesn't, I mean, in terms of heating, right? Other games heat your phone a lot quicker. I mean, if you play Fortnite or AFK Arena or maybe Idle Heroes not, but AFK Arena heats your phone like crazy. Like our, our game heats it a lot less. So it depends a bit on the phone. Yeah, it depends a bit on the phone. The last beta had way less bugs, how come? That's not true. The last beta had fucking, had literally 20,000 more bugs. 20,000. If you report the bugs, like, yeah, just report them. I don't know if you need to say what phone. Yeah. What is the cheapest possible price to export a season one skin, including spendings in game? If you have all the debuffs, it will cost you 20, 20 bucks for a season one level one. Here, if you have a bug, you report it here. But if you if you have zero progress on your account and you want to export the hero, it will cost you season one, one star, 400 bucks. 12 star level 12 will cost you. Ten thousand. Ten thousand bucks. But if you are fully um if you are fully progressed then it will cost you 400 bucks why so expensive you fucking what mate you literally export a 12 star level 12 that you can gift to a friend it's like it's literally you you you, you 
I don't know if you guys realize, like if you have six stars, six, 12 stars, level 12, you can literally send them to another account and just boost it like crazy and then send them back. Yeah, it's just like fucking, it's literally basically, uh, yeah, it's, it's basically progress that is removed from the game and you can just hand it out to anyone. Can you fully progress in one month as D20? What is D20? Can you fully progress in one month as D20? What? Is there an end at the campaign tower? Yes, there is. Prestige 100. You can't progress in one month as free to play just as much you can't even as pay to win. It takes you a long time to fully progress. In one month, are you crazy? It takes you 30 years to complete the game as free to play. Uh, and if you pay, you can speed it up. If you pay a million dollars, you can speed it up, I think, uh, six times. Well, maybe you can do it in like three years, 10x, if you spend a million. No, I didn't do the giveaway for the Spectral Trigus yet. No. I said I might do it. I'm not sure. But the thing is, if you spend $1, right? If you, if you spend $1, you're going to... Uh, If you spend one dollar, you're going to already be able to speed up your progress like crazy because VIP one has the biggest uh, benefits. So people are supposed to spend 300, 400 bucks to export in season one. You can, yeah, 300, 400 bucks, yeah, initially, yeah. And as the game progresses longer and longer, the price goes down. That's how it works. You might say like, man, that's fucking expensive, but yeah, it's like, that's why they're going to be rare and expensive. It's, you know, you got to figure out, do I get these season one skins? Is it going to be worth more than 300, 400 bucks? I think if you look back, right, maybe, you know, in a year or two, and these fucking season one skins sell for 50K, 100K, you'd be like, man, I was complaining to export it for 300 bucks. You'd just laugh at yourself. But yeah, like, that's the thing with NFTs. That's why it's going to be so val valuable. No, you can't. You got to export them the first month. Will season one skins be worthless if the stream does not update the skin next season? No, because it stays the season one skin forever. The season one is connected to the skin. It doesn't matter. Like it's, it's the ancienity. Yeah? Let's say Soda Poppin uh, exports a skin, uh, like puts a skin and you export it, then it will always be season one. And then he might, season two skin might have the same appearance as season one, but season one is older than season two. That's how it works. It's like Pokemon coming out with uh, new cards that look the same as the ones back in the days. The ones back in the days will still be worth more because they're older. They have the ancienity. I don't know if you get me. But how is it different to do the same? Season two, it's because of ancienity. It's the first edition, bro. It's like really saying like, why do these baseball cards, you know, what's the difference if they look the same? It's because it's the fucking first edition, second edition. People will pay for that. I don't think people will care if they look the same. No fucking way, Neotox. That's not true. I want to I wanna bet money that's not true. People will really want to... Uh, like as time goes on, right? Anything below season 10 will be really, uh, will be a huge flex. So you can only ever sell a season one skin if you export it during season one. Yes, indeed. Once season one is over, you can never, ever get another season one skin. You can only get season two skins. 
when season key, three starts, you can never ever get a season one and season two skin. Every season is one month. I thought exporting was going to be affordable for plebs. Exporting will be affordable even for plebs. I mean, even $300 worth or $400 worth of Krypton is not that much. You might say, but are you crazy? Like, there's many ways of getting perp, uh, Krypton in the game. I think shiny legendary skins will really sell for 500 to 1,000 bucks worth of Krypton. But it's like for one skin, right? Yes, one skin. Rip seems like making money via the game is basically impossible. That's not true, man. Like you can, I think you can easily get the first month of play, you can get 300 to 400 bucks worth of Krypton as free to play. You, you'll probably be able to export one skin. And also if everybody can just export season one skins, first of all, we need to fucking export it on the blockchain so that it costs us right now 40 bucks with the transaction fees. Secondly, uh, they would be too common. The value would be worthless. I would export the skins of the streamers that you deem are going to grow the most and are in the game the first season. How do you get Krypton as free to play? There is many ways. You generate automatically Krypton through your abilities and spell abilities and your crypto cards. You uh, are able to sell your uh, skins and your pets for Krypton. Uh, you can also gain challenges. People can challenge you for Krypton. You can also get gifted Krypton. You can also get people into your community and every purchase they do, you get Krypton. Uh, you can also just uh, follow people that, you know, do Krypton giveaways. Uh, and there is more ways of doing it that I don't even remember. Either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call it a day, guys. It's 11.30. By the way, the purpose stats in the G4G shop are incorrect. What are the purpose stats on G4G? What? Let me quickly see. What are the purpose stats? I don't get it. What purpose stats are you talking about? Do you see that? Oh. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a screenshot of it. No, it is correct. Why is this not correct? Purpose locked 40k. Oh, that doesn't look correct, yeah. I'm going to make a screenshot of that. I'll fix that. Either way. For people wondering, I would really, you know, tell you to get yourself some sweet ass fucking purpose before shit hits the fan. Yes, but if you can export one skin a month as free to play, then there is no way it sells for 400 bucks. These are people that are really active. Man, Ramajuano, you would be surprised. You would really be surprised. I think the moment season two kicks in and season one is not obtainable anymore, and there is maybe a thousand season one skins across the board, man, the value will go up like crazy. Well, you can make 30 accounts, but like, <laughs> it's, it's, you're going to have to work your ass off to get uh, that crypto. Huh? It's not so easy, but you can try. But how much you stacked with purpose, man? You should just get yourself some, v well, you can get, Five accounts, five accounts, get them all to VIP three and just, you know, be very smart about it. Also with sale points and stuff, you can literally get hundred dollar Krypton reduction and stuff. It's fucking crazy. Yeah? 
either way people that want to come over here's the link people that want to try out the game here's the link and uh if you want to you know no, the, the bot freely, we don't even care about botting anymore since you can now do auto dailies anyway. And if you want to check out, you know, the purpose, there is actually, here is the, the exchange and here is a, a fact that was made by the community. Make sure to look into it. It can change your life. Don't be an idiot. Spend a half hour here checking, reading that fact rather than just, you know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll see you guys, you know, tomorrow. Noxie, ask these questions tomorrow, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm off to bed now. Peace out. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.